channel, managing my brain scramblies. This is my first ever video for my channel, so I'm really excited, kind of nerve-wracking, but I've been wanting to do this for quite some time now. Um, let me introduce myself. I am 31, I live in Los Angeles, and I have been following the trend, I guess you can call it, of cash envelope stuffings and budgeting for um, almost a year now. I've known about the cash stuffing um, method for even longer than that, but I just never, I never tried to do it. When I first heard about it, I was in my early 20s, which I honestly wish that I had started doing it then, but hey. And I didn't think that it was something that I could do. I just kind of heard about it and attempted to do it like maybe once or twice and then it just didn't happen. I live in LA as I mentioned and so like some other um, budgeter YouTubers, LA is a high, has a high cost of a living and so I wanted to be able to start this channel and to start my Etsy shop because there are aren't really a lot of people I've seen on YouTube do channels that focus on, you know, millennials who are in a lot of debt like myself, but live in areas where the cost of living is not exactly the jeebus. I wanted to create this video and have it be the first video that I post on my channel because I want to be able to look back on it and hopefully at the end of 2022, you know, just really think about the, yes. the to wow. just look back at the beginning of my journey and hopefully by then I'll have progressed. Um, I have been learning how to budget and have been doing it on and off and it wasn't until honestly these past few months that I really became more serious about becoming debt free and trying to actually have a savings because as I mentioned, you know, with living in a high cost of uh, living, an area that has a high cost of living, it can be cheaper to own a home than it is to rent and that is the issue that I'm experiencing as of current which sucks and is unfair but that's a discussion for another time. Another thing too is the reason for why I call it managing my brain scramblies is because I am also someone who um, was diagnosed with ADHD during the pandemic. I am 31 so when I was diagnosed I was actually 30 and you know, this was information that would have been really helpful when I was younger, when I was a teenager, but again, it is what it is, and I have learned a lot of ways to handle or manage my ADHD. I like to call my brain fog days or my bad brain days, my brain scramblies, or just my ADHD in general, my, my brain scramblies, because one, that's how my brain will literally feel like um but also too i am a big fan of the show what we do in the shadows and if you don't know the show uh it's not exactly like super family friendly there's a lot of mature content and mature strong language but uh in short it is about these vampires who are doing like a mockumentary started off as a film and now it is a tv series on fx really funny, really great TV show. But anyways, there is an episode where one of the vampires has hypnotized their neighbor so much that he gets the brain scramblies and it's supposed to be like the worst thing ever. You see, there's various levels of overhypnosis. If it's not too serious, it's what's called weak brain. If it's slightly worrying, it's called thoughtless sallies. And if it's a fucking nightmare and you can forget about him, it's brain scramblies. And sometimes, you know, on my days when my brain's not feeling so great, that's what it feels like. Um, so with ADHD, you know, I have struggled with trying to manage certain things. A lot of people believe that ADHD is being hyperactive or that it's you know, not being able to focus, but it's more than that. And for adults, it's impulsion um, or addiction or impulsion that can lead to addiction and so for myself it was impulsive spending and trying to learn how to manage that spending and be better about it so yeah let's get to the goals 
All right, so I'm using this envelope right now because it is not super transparent, but I wanted to show you all what my goals are. So the first one is to, oh God, I already failed that one. <laughs> the first one is to pay off at least three different debts. Um, I have quite a few debts and maybe I will be doing a debt confession video one of these days, but for now, I'm just going to say they are on the smaller side the ones that i'm thinking of one of them is actually something that is in collections luckily it is under a thousand dollars um but it is for something actually that i did not know i was signing up for um it was a whole hullabaloo with the dentist and basically i don't recommend western dental if that's available in your area that's all i'm gonna say right now um but that is one of them i have never had anything in collections until this point in my life and so i would like to get that out of my name as soon as possible um but yeah i would like to pay at least three of them off the other two that are not in collections they're more like around the $500 range but still I'd like to be able to to get that out and to just really start paying that down um and if I can get more than that done then great but I'm just starting off I guess you can say a little bit slower on the lower side just to kind of get things going the second is to having savings account I don't have a savings account y'all I should that I don't um, and I need to do that so yeah <laughs> and the third it's not many goals that I have but the third is to move without having to use my credit card so I do I would like to move in the new year it's not going to be at the beginning but probably more like around the spring or summertime just because basically my landlord the property management company is not great they are yeah, it's not great. <laughs> so, so with that, you know, moving has a lot of costs. Um, there are a lot of factors that go into it. And that's why number one is there because I want to be able to, um, you know, be approved for a good apartment and to be able to get my credit score up and pay down those debts so that I'd be able to do number three. And also without number two, I can't really do three. At least that's what I feel like. I feel like these are all kind of match up with each other you know they they line up with each other so yeah but you know I also added you know in the end I just want to be more hopeful you know sometimes having debt when you are you know regardless of what age you are whether you are in your 20s or older you know if you are in your 60s or 70s and you're starting to pay off debt whatever it may be I think that it can feel really discouraging because you just kind of feel like you're in a hole and I just you know would like to be more hopeful this coming year when it comes to my debt when it comes to handling my money and you know just being able to pay for things without feeling too much guilt it's not just you know being secure financially being secure with generational wealth whatever it may be but it's also just being more hopeful about my goals in the future so that's it really this is a really short first video but i wanted to get this going because i wanted to commit myself to these goals and yeah i've been watching a lot of these youtube channels for a bit you've probably seen me comment on your videos before and here i am well at least my hands and the voice but it eventually yeah um so yeah Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, which I hope will be a cash stuffing or at least a budgeting. So yeah, bye.